Hey, good morning everyone. Riley Foster of Foster's Custom Steel. In the garden today. One of those videos. What's in the garden? I just finished my garden gate. Most of you wouldn't know this, but half of this garden was covered in chain link fence and the other half was not. And I finished that up and keep the deer out. That's what the red flags are all down there for. It moves and makes the deer at least alert. But Anyway, we got an agreement. They don't eat my vegetables and I don't eat them. So that's a pretty good agreement. So I just made this garden gate. And I thought, go ahead and I brought the welder up here. And you normally also don't do welding in the garden. But I had to get this installed to keep pesky rabbits and critters out. And I had to redo my little stepping stone there. And I'm going to make a latch. Obviously, that's not much of a latch. But we'll go in the garden. This is May 5th on a Friday. It has rained every weekend for about, I'd say, seven weeks. So I hadn't been able to go to the farmer's market. So hopefully this weekend, I think tomorrow is going to be clear. So I'm going to go to the market and sell some of my artwork. But I'm going to start here. And again, you see, I've got to get in here and get a lot of this green you can call it a green hue but it's where the weeds are starting to come up quick so i'll get those and hoe these beans these are pole beans and they'll climb on this trellis and just cover this thing and those are i guess about six inches tall beautiful they got their solar cells furled trying to soak up some of that sunshine maybe dry up this ground a little bit but this is a I guess a 20 foot row planted every four inches apart. Normally don't plant them that close, but on a trellis, they do really well. I moved this trellis from down in the bottom of the garden up here to get it a little bit more sunlight. And I cleared out on the outside there around my mulch bin and stuff like that. That's really great to have a tractor and so you don't have to do all that back work by yourself. But this Look at this, guys. I don't know if you can see that real good. Obviously, the sun is at my back. But these are the smaller ones. I think these four are Romas. And then there's some... Um, hmm. I'll have to look. But anyway, I've got them all tagged. Yeah, see this? That's a uh, sun, go sun sugar. I'm really looking forward to having some of those. They get way out of control. Those are grape tomatoes. And then I'll have to dig to take it up on these. I just put these baskets in yesterday. This tomato plant is, I guess, about 16 inches high. Yeah, there's ever six. So one, two, three, four. It's almost 30. About 24 inches high, I guess. Yeah. Really nice, healthy looking stalks. Ditto all the way down, I think. There's another sun sugar. There's a lemon boy is what he's called. They're not bad. Um, better bush. I don't want better bush. I want better tomato. <laughs> Look at this. We've got a little bitty tomato on there. This is May 5th. Yeah. You can see there. It's called super sweet. And all of these now... I changed the garden around. I put some mulch in the rows before I planted these. Look at these. Now this is, they're called mammoth jalapeno right there. I guess you can see that with the sun. But I've already got a jalapeno pepper on there. These things are so sweet with just a little bit of heat. I've got two of those. And then this is a big yellow bell. And a green. I don't eat the green ones that much, but they're every now and then they're not bad. There's a big red one, and these are very healthy looking plants. So hopefully this year I'll be able to tend the garden a little bit and, and get some. All these have got buds or little little bitty peppers on them. And see here, this is that's a wild tomato coming up right there from last year. So I've got to get in here and till this up. So there's rows of peppers and tomatoes. And these are 
little pepper plants, but on the way back from West Virginia a week or so ago, I stopped at one of the markets and they had broccoli plants and I picked, I gave my buddy Robert Lamar half of the flat and I kept half the flat, but man, there's, let's see, two, four, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, it's about 20, about 24, 25 plants. That should be enough broccoli. And I'm gonna do a top row here. I got giant sunflower seeds. I love planting those in this frame here and they grow up very tall. So that's my three rows of green beans. Over here are the two um, yellow wax beans, which man, they're just unbelievable, steamed with a little bit of butter and salt. And this is a row of green beans. These will come out and play out probably through July and August, and then they just get they get just whipped, and you can't get much out of them after that. At least I can't. But that's when the pole beans kick in, and I pick plenty of beans for, well, we still got green beans in the freezer from 2019. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are really great looking plants. You can see those big old leaves furled out there, soaking up that sun. Kind of odd, you can watch these during the day. I got something bit this one. Got a bug or a beetle or something in here. It's getting one or two, but that's why I plant extra. I don't mind losing one or two. It won't, won't kill me, but I gotta get in here also and do something with these these blueberry plants are so heavy in berries i'm going to get down here out of the sun so you can see these <coughs> there's new runners coming up out of the ground that one's probably 25 inches tall but they are just every branch is just packed slap full all the way up through there. I'm gonna have more berries than I know what to do with. And again, you can only eat so many, and I do give them to the neighbors. I tell them, hey, you know what? You come and pick them. <laughs> I don't want, to, want me to pick them and bring them to you and help you eat them. No, they, they're pretty good about it. Yeah, so guys, that's what's in the garden. Again, the blueberries. Some of the plants are really, really huge. This one had an accident a year or so ago and fell over, so I got to stake him up, but they're so heavy. Look at that. They are just so heavy. They're hanging to the ground. This one has got to be, I'm going to take rebar today and uh, pin them up. Look at that. They just, they can't take the weight. So that's a little bit of work that I need to do. Same with that one there. It is hanging over, headed towards the fence. It is so heavy and laden with berries. So guys, if you would, get your garden going. No, like, share, comment, leave me some messages on what you think about what's in the garden. Oh, and that trellis down there. That's my cucumbers. I laid that cardboard under there. It'll obviously rot away, but hopefully it will just keep some of the daggone grass and weeds from growing up in there to where I can't get to it easily. You can see my little cucumber plants right there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so probably twenty. <laughs> Somebody better be ready to eat some cucumbers because that's that will produce a lot of cucumbers. So guys that's what's in the garden. Come on, leave me a message down at the bottom. What do you think? Like, share, and comment. Just remember to thanks and have a great day.